What is up YouTube? We are here today with a uh, another PoE tools video. Today we're going to take a look at mapwatch.github. So what is mapwatch? Mapwatch is effectively a uh, a website that actually allows you to track your time in maps uh, as well as track the specific maps that you are running uh, as well as track your time in town uh, while you're outside of a map. Um, so recently I did 55 arcade maps. I'm right in the middle kind of three-fourths of the way done uh, with another 100 uh, map testing for arcade maps. That video is going to come out in a couple of days. But uh, th this is a uh, generation just tracking and copy and pasting um, of all of the data that I've taken from MapWatch that MapWatch generates for you. So you don't have to manually track. You don't need to have a manual time tracker. You don't have to have, to have a manual timer that says, oh, my goodness, am I in a map? Am I out of map? Uh, do I need to track the number of portals that I'm using? Nope, all that gets tracked. Your average time in town, your average time in map, um, your total time uh, between the combination of time uh, in town and time in map, and then your total number of portals that gets used, and then your percentage. So like your percentage of time in town versus your percentage of time in map. All of this gets tracked through MapWatch. So really quickly, what you're going to do is you're going to go to MapWatch. I'm going to link it down below in the description. And you're simply going to choose your client text file, which uh, I've got here somewhere, I believe. Uh, so you're going to find wherever you've got your uh, Path of Exile uh, game files is where it's going to be at, which for most of us is going to be in our Steam folder. Uh, so you're going to go into the logs file. You're going to select the basic client file. You're going to open it. It's going to upload to MapWatch. And then it's going to populate. Uh, its default setting is 20 megabytes worth of data. So right now it says, hey, today you've run this many maps. You've used this many portals. And you've had this much average time. However, it says all time, hey, this is how much uh, we've got. And this is how much data we've got off of those 20 megabytes uh, worth of data. So it says, hey, on the 4th of July, uh, which was the other day, uh, these are all of the arcade maps uh, that I ran. So I ran a bunch of arcade maps, and it's giving you the time in map plus the time in town, as well as the number of portals used, as well as uh, the percentage of time in town versus the percentage of time in maps. This is incredibly, incredibly helpful because let's say, for instance, you wanted to say, hey, I want to run uh, 55 arcade maps like what we did uh, in that video. Well, you can search arcade, and you can see, hey, here's your 55 arcade maps. If we want to say, hey, uh, what were my profits on vault map? Hey, I've run four vault maps uh, in this 20 gigabytes worth of data dating back to June 8th all the way till uh, June 23rd when I ran Vaults of Aziri. What if we said uh, Forge? What if we said, hey, did I run Forge of the Phoenix? How long did it take me? It took me 14 minutes and I ran it on June 18th. Um, what about uh, the Shaper's Realm? Uh, yep, ran it once, took me 23 minutes to run, and I died. I just failed it. Six portals, 45% in town, but I died a bunch. Uh, so I failed the Shaper. Anyway, so if you want to look and test and have an accurate number for the time on task, uh, mapwatch.github is going to be uh, a wonderful place where you can go. Now, you can also go and compare. Um, just the total maps that um, folks are that you that you've run in general, and it's going to list it from the highest tier down to the lowest tier. That's how it sorts. Uh, and then the timer is actually a live timer. So I'm going to show you here this really quick. Oh, people want to trade. Of course, people want to trade. All right, get in here, folks. Um, but when you put in a live map into your map device, you'll actually be able to go into the map, and as soon as you enter the map, this timer on your map watch is going to start uh, as soon as we actually load in. So we're going to test this on a flooded mind map, which means now on our map watch, there we go, the stopwatch has started. I haven't clicked anything else. All I've clicked was just jump into the portal of the map. I'm going to move around for a minute, da-da-da-da-da. Okay, we're, we've been in there for 12 seconds. I'm going to leave again. Let's leave. Now, what's map watch going to do? Well, it's going to say, hey, you're no longer in the map. Whoops, we need to go over here and complete this trade. Oh, the suspense is killing you, right? I just said I just said that MapWatch is actually going to stop and tell us that we're in town again. And the question is, will it? The suspense on this trade is just killing all of us, isn't it? All right, so there we go. There's our time goal. There's our timer. We're 38 seconds so far in the town. So far, it's tracking how much time we've got in map, 16 seconds in map. And then there's a continual timer of how much we are in town. It's also giving us that continual percentage and the number of portals that we use. So if we use another portal, let's trade with this guy. And then we'll go use another portal just to show you exactly what it looks like. Thank you so much. Let's go back to Flooded Mine. Get this off of our screen. All right, we're back in Portal. 
and we just used another portal. So now the portal should be two. Hey, look at that. We used two portals, right? So mapwatch.github is the website. Highly, highly recommend it. If you're doing any sort of testing, you see a lot of these videos on YouTube. A lot of different streamers run this where they'll say, hey, this was my profit per hour, and this is the number of uh, uh, maps I ran, and this is the timing that I had on it. Well, the way how you can track that, or at least one way that you can track that, is by using mapwatch.github. So definitely, definitely uh, highly recommend uh, this. You can copy and paste all of the data from here. When you're looking at your history, you can just go and grab, uh, copy and paste all this data, and then move it over into a, an Excel sheet. And then if you want to find the average, you simply um, make the Excel sheet kick out an average to you as you combine the cell data, uh, which is really, really nice to be able to look at uh, and see what your average time is. But again, a lot of that info is already included here on MapWatch, uh, even if you want to sort it by the particular uh, type of map that you are running. That's all available, again, via MapWatch. So there you go. Go ahead and take a look at the uh, link down below and as always like and subscribe for more poe tools helps tips and daily content